Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome welcome back to uh Master Reboot. Um last time we what did we do last time? Did the flying memory, I believe. And, and uh I think I got everything. Uh so yeah, and uh, in this episode we're going, to, gonna do, we're going to do the fairground memory. Uh, once again, I tried to record this and the uh, recording mess, messed up, so, so let's go ahead and just jump in. Uh, there's only four uh, ducks really in this. Uh, Memory. Um, I like this this one a lot. Um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, first, grab this coin right here. I'm gonna need that. A picture of a girl. Thank you. I'm not sure what this is about right here. Uh, these two uh, weird silhouette things. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the second duck. Trouble in Paradise. Probably read that uh, at, a, at a later point. There's a third duck right here. It makes the uh, Picture complete so you can see who it is. Alright, and then the fourth duck is way up here. So it's pretty easy just to get those out the way. Alright, Magnificent Seren. Cut my strings to find your salvation. Alright, whatever. No fall damage. Very, very nice. <laughs> Alright, so what you have to do, um, there are like little mini games. Uh, you have to get this pop gun. Which this girl would be would give us. All right, and there is a uh, a couple of games we have to shoot or play. We have to get them. Um, come on. Really? We have to get these, these lights on. Alright. Oh, okay. There's this. This thing right here. I have no other found desire in my heart. The fire of a funeral pyre is burning there. Burning there. Burning to bring judgment upon you. Okay. So 
So, um, we also have, now where is that, yeah, we over here, uh, bumper, bumper madness. Uh, what you have to do is, you have to get, um, the cars on the right color. It's pretty, pretty easy. Not too difficult. Right, and then finally, the blue one. So I don't think I don't remember if I talked about this or not. Hello? Uh also we have another mini game right here. Uh all you have to do is just get the, the horse to get to the horse to win the race. But it's pretty random. While this is happening, uh I guess talk about. Uh, I don't remember if I talked about this in a previous video or not. Um, but um, I had to reduce the, the quality a little bit. Um, as far as recording goes, um, like I recorded. Or, Whenever I have my Elgato set to HD, like my uh, capture, like the program doesn't want to work with me, and uh, like it goes all slow and weird and doesn't just does not want to work. Um, so I had to re reduce the setting to um, 480, which. Uh, it's not really like the, it's not the best, but it gets the job done. So, if you have noticed that the quality is not uh, HD, that's that's why. So, I mean, if uh, if you like care or if it matters to you at all, uh, you can leave a comment down below, and uh, I, mean, I've re I have recorded in the HD before, but it's really frustrating at times, like my recorder doesn't, recorder doesn't always work with me, and sometimes I have to like wait it out or do the same thing multiple times, and it gets really frustrating. Because I would really like to do more like HD ga games. Can I win, please? Oh, come on, I was like right. At I was freaking there. Yeah, I would really like to do like more HD games, like Batman: Arkham City or Arkham Origins or like Lego City Undercover. That'd be really good. Because I love. All those games, and just like would like to do more Wii U games that I have, but my recorder doesn't always want to work well, work with me. And uh, I do have a two terabyte uh, uh, external hard drive, which I moved uh, video video files uh, to, still not taking up space on my laptop. And like my laptop is a has four cores on it in it, so I, I don't know why I've, the El, my Elga, Elgato does not 
work with me. I don't know why I have problems. Maybe it's just my laptop in general. Uh, come on, man. This is stupid. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know why Elgato decides to, to not cooperate. Like, I know some other people that have it. Elgato, they don't have any problems with it. And uh This is this game is really random and not working in my favor, like at all. I really like uh three horses. It'd be nice. If I, if I could get one horse each spin, that'd be great. And you can't control it either, so you can't like uh, try and stop it in your favor. Come on, come on! Oh, that was pretty close, actually. I was worried I was gonna have to Let's see how close that was. That was pretty close. Uh, I was worried I was gonna have to like stop, stop and come back to that. All right, so yeah. And with this um, gun, there's a couple. Uh, targets that we have to shoot. I know there's one, uh, way over here. Okay, seriously? Quit doing that. Alright, then the last one. Oh, Figure out where that one's at. I think I know where to go. It's way over here, right? Yeah. Let's just shoot the the girl. You know, like in uh, Men in Black, the first movie. He's not snarling, he's sneezing. Alright. So we got all the things that we had to do. Could be a little little girl. Right, pull the lever. Alright, so we did that first part in a timely manner, about 14 minutes. Alright, this part uh, is not hard like, at all. I have to do is just follow the pattern, or the, not the pattern, follow the path. Follow the path. I barely, barely talk. With uh, creepy circus music. I don't know if you can even like fall off. Or if it, like how big the space is really. Go 
duck? What is up with the ducks? Is that promotion for Aflac? This way. Whenever it splits off, all I have to do is just uh, look and see uh, which way that it goes. Duck? And that way. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. This way. Seriously, enough with the ducks. Alright, uh, I don't think there was anything left behind uh, from the fairgrounds. Uh, so basically, um, I don't know if you saw in the background in that little cutscene, but uh, There's like a hooded person, so that's kind of like a, kind of like a hint or clue uh, for the story. That's like the only, the only part of the story that you see is uh, the ducks and the little cut cutscenes. So, because you're kind of like playing out uh, the story. So I so can read this. Uh, I've noticed in, like in the quality, uh, any kind of text that's small, you can't really read it. But I can, I can read it, like on my actual TV, like on the actual game. So sorry about that. Uh, but uh, it says trouble in paradise. Rumors found rumors about troubles in the mystery foundation soul cloud have. Taking a darker turn today, as previous leaks over server, server problems have refused to fade away, and an anonymous source claims that a significant amount of resident data has been lost or com corrupted. Soulcloud hailed as one of the greatest adventures of this century, is accessed daily by over 2 million users in the UK alone. The results of a server crash will be undoubtedly catastrophic. No, no representative from Mystery Foundation has been available to comment. All right, and then Astrid, Astrid Patterson, original, originally, originally part of the Soul Cloud develop, development team and a cloud resident, has alleged, allegedly been a victim of data corruption. All right, so Astrid is not happy in this, and it possibly caused some bad things to happen. So. Next time, we're going, going to be going to the beach memory, which is pretty easy. You know, nothing really, it's not scary at all or freaky uh, in any sense. But uh, there goes that plane. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time where we'll be going into the beach so I'll see you guys then Boom.